you know, not looking super duper healthy because no, he of doesn't. that. You know, because it almost of that, looks like huh? he doesn't have eyebrows, but then ah. here is him with his eyebrows. Done! Super his healthy! Taking it off. Ah, yes, now he looks healthy. You did it, and man. Wow, that effect is crazy. How did you do it? Let me try that on you. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, Jaden Smith is no longer vegan. Ah, what do I say? He was never really a vegan, right? Of course, Mike the vegan, the real vegan, jumped on the case before I got the chance to do a response to the initial Smith story. So today we're going to check out what Mike has to say and how he will defend veganism. Now let's do it. Hey, it's Mike here and today we're going to do a quick video on Jaden Smith whose parents Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith recently had a bit of an intervention with him when he was on his vegan diet because... <laughs> vegan diet. He was never really vegan. He apparently wasn't <laughs> looking so hot. According to them, he wasn't uh, getting enough protein and had grayish skin, which is a new one. That's one I haven't heard before in all my years. Is That's a new one. You never heard that before? Hmm. Let me think. So, needless to say, Mike the Vegan has been critiqued for his gray skin tone. Right here in this video you can see that he did a lot of touching up. There's a lot of filters, there's a lot of saturation. You can see that especially in the beard area and around the eyes, he went out of his way to make himself look more vibrant, as so many vegans do. But the reality of things is, in real life, he is in an absolutely horrific health state. He's a vegan who deals with this crap all the time. But based on what he says, it appears that he may have never even been fully vegan, but the same points in this video do apply to why he may have failed to transition. And I normally don't like to talk about celebrities, but in this case, it is just such- Normally you don't. <laughs> sure. Didn't you just do a video on Joe Rogan? Example of the press misconstruing an issue as being veganism's fault, as well as it's just never a, a veganism's example fault. of somebody having a poorly planned vegan diet. So there are a lot of lessons <laughs> to learn here. So my goal here- a poorly planned vegan diet. If you have to plan your diet, there is something very, very wrong with you. Of course, we could start blaming our environment, convenience, food, no matter where you look. However, if your instincts would be intact, you would know what food is. You would come to the conclusion that animal foods are nutritionally dense, nutritionally adequate, perfectly digestible. Then nobody could fool you. Nobody could trick you. Unfortunately, nowadays, we live in a society that has absolutely disconnected from their natural state, for the lack of better words. And therefore, we are sugar addicted. We are processed junk food addicts, and we do not know what to eat. Now, the vegan messiahs will come and will tell us how to do a vegan diet correctly, which is, of course, ridiculous. No animal has to plan their diet to be successful. It's not to judge Jaden, but hopefully illuminate. Oh, of course, solution. you're not judging. And back when I first went vegan, I had a bit of a similar situation with my mom, but the results sure. ended up differently, and I'll talk about that at the end. So the media has gone absolutely insane with this. We have <laughs> USA Today, CNN, CBS, Everybody's and a insane. ton of other just the media outlets saying. largely blaming veganism for this problem. Let's just get right into it. Here. Yeah, but what else will you blame, Mike? Enlighten us. Here's their family discussion on their show Red Table Talk. Will and I had a bit of an intervention with Jaden because he's a vegan now, but we realized he wasn't <laughs> getting look. enough protein. So he was wasting away. Right. He yes. just looked drained. He was yeah. just Yeah, protein deficiency is still a thing in 2019 and, and here comes the gray part. Okay, vegan humor. Yeah, protein deficiency is still a thing. But wouldn't you agree that this man looks protein deficient? He's 22 years old. He looks like 16, I would say. 16 and sick, right? Wouldn't you agree that there's something wrong with him? Wouldn't you agree that he has a protein deficiency? You can see that he's clearly anemic. You can see that his muscles atrophied. That is a protein deficiency. Pleated. He wasn't getting was the, the nutrients. Dark circles under his, his eyes. eyes. There was even a little grayness yeah, to, like his, to skin. his skin. And we got really nervous. Yeah. But you're definitely looking better now. Yep, he was actually undead. Now we're gonna have to hear that veganism turns you gray. But why do you make snarky comments about this? Why do you want to turn this into a joke? The guy was clearly suffering, right? So there is a problem. 
The guy was clearly sick. Why can't you just stop for a minute and acknowledge what they have to say? This is classical cult mentality. You cannot step back and look at the situation objectively. If I would hear about anybody suffering on a carnivore diet, I would ask first what went wrong. I would ask about what happened. And if somebody would tell me that they just cannot get their blood sugar right with zero carbs, I would recommend eating some plants. But you guys in the vegan camp, in the vegan religion, you cannot do that. Hey, for the next few years, sadly. Now, I do want to mention there's so much conflicting information about the timeline here and whether or not Jaden was now actually even him. fully vegan. If you listen to what he was well, saying let's see if he was fully vegan. after they <laughs> talked about the intervention, he says, wait a uh, minute, I've actually been vegetarian for a year uh, and just go vegan for like a week at a uh, time. I also just want to say that I'm got vegetarian, him. that I've tried oh, to be oh, vegan. vegan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. now it's crystal clear. Yeah. Apostate. I'm vegetarian. Get out of here. You know, I, I've tried to eat vegan. Never meals. really vegan. I'll go vegan for a week or so, but I'm for the past year, I've been <laughs> vegetarian, but everything guys are saying is right. Right. So is it that he, you know, was playing with the idea of going vegan here and there, but was never actually really vegan for a meaningful amount of time. Never actually really vegan. Oh. So the poor dude looks like a cancer patient here, but he was never really vegan. The vegan cultists don't understand how ridiculous they sound. Even the media picks up on that craziness because they cannot stand behind this ludicrous movement. Any normal person that would hear about health issues on a vegetarian diet would tell you, hmm, you already have issues on a vegetarian diet. Do not exclude any more foods. Do not go vegan. By excluding more foods, you will run into more risk of deficiencies. But in the vegan religion, it is the opposite. It is the other way around. Hey, veganism didn't fail you. It was vegetarianism because every other diet is shit and will lead to disease. Only the vegan diet will save you. <laughs> vegan logic. Being really vegan for a meaningful amount of time. It was just vegetarianism, in which case this just whole conversation is completely null and void. But exactly. The whole conversation is null and void, Mike. Dude, you start as an omnivore. Then you start excluding the meat. Then you start excluding the fish. Then you are vegetarian, lacto ovo, and then you play around. Maybe the dairy has to go, maybe the eggs have to go. And then from there, once you exclude that as well, you become a vegan, right? Now you can push it further, of course. You exclude the cooked foods, you become a raw vegan, then you become a fruitarian, then you go on a juice fast, water fast, dry fast, breatharian enlightenment, right? Anyways, all of those practices are fasting practices. All of those practices are simply fasts of a different degree. Nothing more and nothing less. So now, if you've been at step vegetarian and that already didn't work, why would excluding more foods all of a sudden magically make you healthier? You have to be completely brain dead to believe this. Worth mentioning that this whole discussion was sparked actually because of Will Smith's dietary health issues. For uh. example, he had broken 225 pounds. He mm -hmm. had an issue where he was getting lightheaded when he bent down and stood back up. He had some shaky hands occasionally. Uh, so now to efficiently gain weight, what do you have to do? Everybody that is into sport nutrition will understand that you need to overeat on carbohydrates. Now, Mike, will you tell me that Will Smith is a carnivore? Or even better, a raw carnivore? Of course not. He is an omnivore like anybody else. And if he was battling weight gain, then I'm just going to make the assumption that he was on a sad diet. He also went periods where he didn't poop for three days and had like bad constipation and bad gas, as well as high cholesterol. Bad gas, constipation, all comes from plant foods. And being medicated for it. And we're gonna just put stuff on the table. How many times do y'all poop in the course of a day? Oh my god. Hey. It's a Oh my gosh. I can go three days without You have to poop daily. You might you might want to yeah. take a look at that. I'm constipated a lot. My pee looks like beer sometimes. It, oh. Dad. <laughs> wow. Oh no. It's funny how I didn't see a ton of headlines about his dietary issues, probably because he isn't on a vegan diet. And if he was, it would be like vegan diet gives severe gas to Will Smith and he can't even stand up anymore. Will
How is that an argumentation? We already know that the standard American diet is absolutely horrible. So yes, you have headlines about that subject as well. We already acknowledged, and of course it's not a buzzword nowadays, the sad diet, the omnivore diet, because we talked about it numerous times. Everybody understands that the standard American diet is destructive. What you have to take into consideration is that 70 to 80 percent of your daily calories on a standard American diet are plants. Wow, big shocker. Yes, it's processed plants. Processed corn, processed soy, processed wheat. Even if you choose to eat meat on a breakfast bun, for example, it's still surrounded by wheat. You are by default already eating a plant-based diet. A vegan diet is nothing new. You just further exclude the animal foods. You are already eating a plant-based diet in America. Will Smith loses legs on a vegan diet and his skin turns blue. <sighs> but let's get back to the protein comment. First of all, Such how a did lame Jaden joke. know that he had a protein deficiency? Was this just a guess, an assumption? I highly doubt they actually looked at his blood protein levels and that they were low. It is worth mentioning to zoom out at vegans in general because they actually have higher levels of free blood protein likely <laughs> because of low... Yes, likely because of whatever the hell. No, likely because of the absorption issue with that protein. That protein is circulating in your blood because your body cannot absorb that mediocre plant crap. It is that simple. What don't you understand? Or levels of protein sucking inflammation. It's hard to tell just from the brevity of the conversation, but I really... Yeah, then just look into the C-reactive protein of carnivores, you will see super low levels, almost no inflammation whatsoever. Nobody talks about that. We're just comparing the plant-based diet to a standard American diet. Wow, great comparison, Mike. I really hope that Jada just knows that you can get enough protein on a vegan diet. I mean, looking at somebody like Kendrick <laughs> Ferris, who said the... It, it's kind of questionable how vegan he actually was. There's some, some evidence that... Perhaps he was using whey protein, but let's examine his results at the Olympics because this is very, uh, very telling. And so in 2008, eight years younger, 20 pounds lighter, he totaled more as a lighter weight guy, as an omnivore eat meat eater than he did as a vegan in the 2000 Olymp 2016 Olympics. And so uh, largely you could argue that his Olympic performance as a vegan was a abysmal failure relative to what he had done previously. In fact, he got his elbow was injured not long after the Olympics, and we haven't heard a word from him since uh, other than this vegan propaganda film. So it's unclear if he'll, ever, he'll be able to compete in the 2020 Olympics. He's definitely getting enough protein. No, it's not a vegan diet specifically that drained this dude. Of course not. And there's a pretty clear answer here. And I was actually mind blown by some of these statements, as Jaden mentions here. I was just eating like two meals a day. Yeah. You know, and maybe one. Maybe just that one big meal, and I'm like, oh, you know, I didn't get around like, to it. Oh. Holy crap, first of all, that's Holy not a crap. vegan problem. That's just I a love the starving boys. yourself problem. This is Okay, that is a starving yourself problem. So how come that people that are eating a carnivorous diet or even an omnivorous diet can go on to one meal a day are not starving at all? Their health markers improve. So many people can do it on a carnivorous or on an omnivorous diet. But if you do it vegan, then you're starving. Hmm, that is strange. That is not a red flag at all, right? Man, you are already starving. It is already a fast. Once you take even more calories out of the equation, of course you will suffer. This is what the number one vegan failure reason is. I've said over and over again, not enough calories. No. Because animal products have you did it wrong. Density. <laughs> one meal a day, maybe you're eating some snacks. That's like a thousand calories a day. Two meals a day is probably putting you in around 1500 calories. These are, I'm not even exaggerating. This is the amount of calories that people ate in concentration camps. It wow, that's such a new example. I never heard that before. Vegans are always parroting the same stuff. Is that what veganism is? Uh, let's, let's look at the definition of veganism. It Come says on, right show here, me. Eat 1,000 to 1,500 calories a day. Oh, and, <laughs> Such and a good no joke. animal products either. Oh, wait, that's not the definition <laughs> of veganism. It's simply to not eat or use animal products to do the least amount of harm practically possible. But you're not doing the least amount of harm practically possible at all. If you would really want to achieve that, you would understand that carnivore is the way to go. Eating ruminant animals such as cows, you as a grown man would eat maybe one to two, let it be three cows tops per year. That is three deaths. Super clean. 
less packaging as well, especially if you go to a farm. No import, export business whatsoever, right? You're not burning fossil fuels on the top of our heads whilst importing those foods either, right? Much more environmentally friendly. You as a vegan, you contribute to habitat destruction. You create monocultures, monocrops, with which you destroy whole ecosystems. You are killing millions of animals, starting with insects, going over rodents, killing birds, killing lizards, killing deers, and in certain countries like Australia, kangaroos, wallabies, so on and so forth. In the creation of your Beyond Burgers, you killed billions of animals. You are not protecting anybody here. My big problem is, oh, wake up in the morning, my stomach's hurting. I don't want to eat breakfast, uh -huh. my stomach hurts. To be fair, he said that in general he has to be fair, so no, to be fair, you would understand what is going on and you would actually be interested in that human being, but you're not. You're just interested in pushing your agenda and generating clicks, that's all. This young man was suffering from your shit vegan diet. It's not even a diet, it's a fast. That vegan fasting period destroyed his gut lining. Vegans will tell you, yeah, but most people that get into veganism, they already have underlying issues. Yeah, of course they have underlying issues because they've been eating those shit plant foods. Those plant foods will give you digestive upset by default. What can you eat? Beans, grains, vegetables. When you hear that intuitively, you know that sounds like diarrhea, bloating and pain. Of course it does. Those foods are really hard to digest. Excessive amounts of fiber. Meanwhile, animal foods are super easily digestible. They digest the best. Everybody that tried a carnivore diet knows that. Nothing digests as perfect as meat. It is a complete protein source. It gets absorbed almost no residue whatsoever. So therefore, those plants already damaged the kit. Now he's going to go onto a vegan diet and even further enhance the suffering. But he did it wrong, right? He did it wrong. It is because of the underlying gut issues. If you would eat meat, you wouldn't have underlying gut issues. Stomach pains that prevent him from wanting to eat. And to that, I will say one thing that does help. I yes, this is what you hear all the time. This is why vegans go onto those prolonged fasts on top of their fast. Intermittent fasting, one meal a day, they try it because they hate their food. They cannot see those plants any longer because they trigger their gut lining. They lead to digestive upset. Of course, they don't want to eat any longer. Man, if all you have to look forward to is rice and beans and vegetables and fruits, of course you're not hungry. I don't want to eat that stuff either. Thank you very much. I've seen help is maybe starting off the day with a smoothie or eating something more liquid like soup. <laughs> because Ah, but why? Why would you start your day that way? Because you already intuitively understand that those plant foods do not digest well. If they would digest well, why do you have to blend them up and gulp them down? Wouldn't you eat them in their raw state? Wouldn't beans be absolutely delicious just looking at them? You're so delusional, it's unbelievable. Because the emptying time for your stomach with liquid food is way faster than solid food. <laughs> so that could just mean less pain, so you can eat more calories. Either yeah, way, it's great. not like Fantastic. vegan food was the only thing that hurt him. It's like the vegan label made his stomach hurt. No, it was no. food that did that in general, vegan or not. He could yes, exactly. It was food. But that food that hurt his gut was vegan. Even if he was eating vegetarian, even if he was eating omnivore, the food was still plant-based because only plants trigger gut lining. How do you recover from SIBO? How do you recover from IBS? By eating meat. Hmm, but it's not veganism. Could have just as easily added more calorie dense plant foods like <laughs> avocados and nut butters. Yeah, which probably great. More sandwich. oils. I've also noticed a lot of these- <laughs> More omega-6 oils. Perfect. You guys don't understand anything about nutrition. How can you recommend plant oils that will lead to inflammation? How is that a good recommendation? Hey, you have gut pain, eat inflammatory omega-6 oils. Fantastic job. These titles are like after dramatic weight loss, Jaden Smith has family intervention. It's like, 
How much weight did he actually lose? It never really says, and he was skinny before, during, and after. I mean, maybe he lost like 10 pounds, it's unclear, but there's no like, whoa, he lost a ton of weight. Does he look like somebody that can allow himself to lose more than 10 pounds? And again, Mike, you absolute hypocrite. You are not caring about those humans. You do not care about his problems. You just care about your agenda. You feel good, you feel strong debunking him behind your computer screen. Oh, Jaden did it wrong. Jaden did it wrong. Why don't you care about him and try to figure out how you can actually help this person? As for his gray skin tone, Pathetic. this is pure speculation, but I would have to guess that he was becoming anemic and again, a vegan Oh, that's a good guess, actually. That's a good guess for a change. He was becoming anemic. It is not causing anemia <laughs> in general. Of course not. You don't have heme iron. It is super poorly absorbed, but it's not the vegan diet. What is it, Mike? Tell us, please. From this recent study that looked at blood <laughs> levels, the vegans did not have statistically significantly... Oh, fantastic. Yet again, another study. So here you can see it in that study, 53 vegans got examined, right? And in that study, those 53 vegans that identified as vegans didn't have problems, right? The vegans are the first guys that will tell you anecdotal evidence doesn't count, but you will list a piss poor study with 53 people that identified as vegan. I know people that identify as vegan, but are not vegan at all. They are still eating fish, they're still eating eggs occasionally, they're plant-based. Then you have people that have been vegan for a month or two, and they will identify as vegan. And then you do the study on them. 53 people. And those guys had good blood levels of iron. Congratulations! Meanwhile, I have thousands of people reaching out to me and showing me their blood results low in iron. After the reintroduction of animal foods, they see improvement in their iron levels, right? Especially after consuming red meat, blood, so on and so forth. So let's dismiss them all. Let's not trust those thousands and thousands of people because they're all just anecdotal. But I'm gonna trust those 53 random people here just because a scientist has put his stamp of approval on this document. Fantastic, Mike. <laughs> Different rates of uh, iron deficiency than the omnivores. Oh my God. They were the same. But people who eat anorexia uh, levels of calories clearly have higher risk of anemia. That's what it is. Oh uh, yeah, less that's what it is. Less iron. Much yeah, of these done. pictures smearing done. his- You found out again. Not enough calories. Did it wrong. Quote unquote vegan <laughs> diet were from this Louis Vuitton event. Look at this guy. Okay. And this guy does not look sick. This is not concerning to you. You cannot understand that parents got concerned for their child after seeing this, right? Aside from the pink hair and the pink chain. You do not get concerned when you see this person. Pathetic. Images by an anti-vegan channel used to criticize his appearance on a vegan diet. Funny stuff. And I think this Obviously is all because he a lie. <laughs> Did you see that? Obviously a lie. Of course, right? That's the only thing that vegans got. They will call everybody a liar, right? He wasn't a vegan diet. He wasn't a plant-based diet. Okay, he wasn't 100% plant-based. That is good, because otherwise he would be even more sick. But you don't take that into consideration. You will blame the anti-vegans as liars. They are liars. Don't listen to them. Vegan diet, funny stuff. And I think this no, is all because stuff. he decided to do something that makes everybody look less healthy, which is lighten their eyebrows. Obviously, he was doing some, some oh. fashion stuff, but the reality is that when your eyebrows look lighter, you look less healthy. I mean, here's here's an example mm, of a that's photo why you that look less healthy. Here huh? is him with his lighter eyebrows and lighter hair color. Yeah, you know, not looking super duper healthy. Because no, he of doesn't. That. You know, it because almost of that, looks like huh? he doesn't have eyebrows, but then ah. here is him with his eyebrows. Done! Super his healthy! Taking <laughs> <laughs> it off. Ah, yes, now he looks healthy. You did it, and man. Uh, wow, that effect is crazy. How did you do it? Let me try that on you. All right, well, let's try your hypothesis. So here he is, right in his regular state. A little pasty looking, if you ask me. A little bit of gray skin as well, but hey, what do I know? Let's try his hypothesis. Let's see how he would look like with darker eyebrows and even a darker beard. Boom! So much healthier. There he is. <laughs> Case closed. <laughs> oh, man. It's a pretty stark difference. You know, we associate pretty the no stark difference. Yeah, absolutely. With, uh, On that note, please.
please dye your beard as well, man. Come on, vegan or not, who rocks a ginger beard with black dyed hair? That doesn't make any sense. As chemotherapy, of course, we're not going to associate it with healthfulness. But the reality is there's not a lack of hair there. It's just lightened. I mean, my eyebrows get bleached in the sun. I put sunscreen all around them, but then they end up getting bleached. Then I get more comments about having hypothyroidism yeah. and crap like that. Last mm. point here is oh, my crap. similar story that I had when I first went vegan. My mm. mom was like, oh my God, your bones look like they're about to snap because you're on your vegan diet. And I was like, actually, she was right. I weigh the exact same amount as I did before I went vegan. So clearly there's a because of more water retention and bloating. A little bit of a preconceived notion here. You know, people mm -hmm. have been primed probably because of all the articles like those that were written about this to think that vegans are less healthy, frail, and dying. But at least for me, I went on... What written articles? There is a young man who is suffering. I know that you vegans cannot comprehend anything that is going on in real life. You need a paper, just like you did with those 53 people. It does not matter if thousands of people come personally to you and ask you for help. You will obey, right? You're a good slave that will listen to the authorities. But if we say something, then it's an appeal to authority, fallacy. You gained 15 pounds as a vegan, so I'm happy that I stuck with it. I'm stronger than I've ever been. But the story yeah, plays perfectly you just in the got fat. You have absolutely no muscle tone. We saw that in your gym video. Absolutely no muscle tone. Absolutely a feminine the classical skinny fat vegan look absolutely no gains whatsoever if you gain something you gain fat you can see notions don't go vegan never go vegan you're actually gonna yeah, get a protein deficiency your yes. skin will go gray and yes like forth. yours and the most ironic again part mike what are you talking that... about man if i look at your video it is highly touched up any idiot can see that you have the saturation on max and you still look pale if you reduce the saturation, you get a much clearer look of how Mike looks like in real life. And of course, I already showed that on the John Venus interview video. You look gray, but of course you are in total denial and you cannot hear that. You cannot accept it. They have someone come in at the end of their, their you know, round table family discussion <laughs> to give them health advice and do some tests. And it's actually Dr. Hyman, who is known for promoting a low Great carb guy. diet. Yes. And from this meta-analysis, low carb diets increase mortality risk by 30%. Correlation is not causation. Look deeper into this study and you will see that those people still ate significant amounts of carbohydrates. Don't even look into it, right? Just listen to Mike. Mike the vegan. The study data came from questionnaire, so we all know how flawed that is. That is not observational data just questionnaires where people had to fill out how many cups of bacon they ate in the last month. Those studies are not reliable. If you look into the study design, you will see that most people still ate around about 150 grams of carbohydrates. That is not a low carb diet. On top of that, those people are omnivorous. As we established in the beginning, nobody said that the standard American diet, even if lesser carbohydrates are consumed is a good diet model. We already established that, Mike. But in order to prove your point, you vegans will list the same studies over and over again. Cherry picked, just put in the background, put it behind me. On the other hand, Will Smith mentioned his father who passed away recently who had all the diseases he said, such as heart disease and of course, and that father was eating a raw carnivore diet, right? He wasn't eating the standard American diet with a lot of plants. Of course Daddy's. not. Sitting with Daddy-O in his last couple of weeks, and he had everything. Mm. Diabetes and heart disease. Mm. It was Sounds really like the well, standard American diet. Well, study had a 78% lower total risk of all <laughs> diabetes, which is insane. Yes, let's listen to the Adventists, right? Let's prove that veganism is actually a religious cult. Guys, the Adventists have an invested interest. They own Sanitarium, the cereal company. They do have an interest in selling you their gunk. Of course, they will try to prove that a vegan diet is healthy. However, again, that study is highly flawed because it was a questionnaire-based study where people had to answer in cups, in weird measurements, in time frames that nobody could account for. Absolutely ridiculous. And on that note, the vegans didn't even do best. And we have clinical trials showing the reverse. Clinical trials. Yes, absolutely. Why are they not replicable? 
How come that only Caldwell Esselstyn did it and nobody else could replicate it, right? If it is such an amazing remedy to reverse heart disease, nobody else picked up on this? Nobody else, right? If we would know for a fact that veganism reverses heart disease, wouldn't you think that most people would apply it for just a couple of weeks, especially in clinics, especially in hospitals? They do not because it is not replicable. Right. So, get a vegan diet. So, so we'll make not to be an enemy <laughs> here. And in the end, if you are going vegan, please eat more than please. one meal. Please yes, eat more please. than two meals please a day. Do. Eat please. three meals a day. Please. And eat twenty meals a day. Please. I always eat say more this. fiber. Please Everybody go to the toilet this. twenty Just times. Check out please. one, maybe two days. Yes, of chronometer, chronometer of course. Tracker. Just to see. Uh, dear vegans, only because you see it on a computer screen and it shows you nutrients doesn't mean that you will absorb it. It is an absorption issue. How can you not understand it? Let me give you a simple example. If you would type on chronometer the mineral density of a rock, mm -hmm, it is there. There are minerals in rocks. Try eating them. Why is your eating? Where calories come from? Where nutrients come from? Where do they come from? Awesome learning experience. <laughs> and in the end, awesome. definitely don't. Yeah, go it is an awesome learning experience because if you start looking into it, you will understand that those plant foods are actually not absorbable and not even meant for human consumption because we cannot ferment them. We are not herbivores. And then you realize that eating meat is actually the truth because we've been doing that for. Ever. If you look into tribes, how they've been eating, you see what a natural diet for the human species is, how it looks like. And hey, spoiler, it does not include synthetic supplements. Shocker, I know. And this, you know, he's 21, he's still learning how to feed himself. Yeah, the compassionate, and, you know, <laughs> the compassionate vegan. Now you're gonna say go easy on him, right? After bashing him for 10 minutes straight, now you're gonna play the compassionate vegan card. How disingenuous you are, man, you weasel. He's truck giving food away to the homeless people. He still periodically eats eats vegans for <laughs> eats vegan eats vegan for weeks at a time what it's a cannibal anyway so i hope he figures out how to eat more Solid. calories maybe even follow a vegan bodybuilder and get jacked on a vegan oh diet. yeah get jacked on a vegan diet just as jacked as you got mike right look at those gains awesome <laughs> all right that's it for today feel free to let me know down below yeah, you thank you very much all right enough of this i can't look at this pretentious face any longer absolutely disingenuous absolutely no interest in helping people out the vegans have no interest in people that is not a surprise and they do not have any interest in the vegan movement either hmm how can that be they only have interest in their own brand name mike the vegan that is all they care about they care about their own ass nothing more and nothing less they do not want anybody else to fill their spot on vegan YouTube. They do not care about human health. You see that this guy was clearly suffering. Jaden Smith was absolutely deteriorating. But that is not interesting. That does not concern us. As vegans, we simply want to spread the vegan message, right? So benevolent. You do not care about this guy's suffering at all. Jaden Smith, if you're watching, eat meat and reclaim your health. All right, guys, but this is it. Long enough video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. If you want to support the channel, all the links are in the description box below. Enough for today. As always, much love and peace.